Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up, which apps will really, really, really shine with 4.2? Plus, Playbook's making a play for the tablet market. People still like Flash and a bizarre iPad photo shoot. All that plus awesome audio app caps on iPad today. Awesome! iPad Today is brought to you by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to publish a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off the life of your new account, go to Squarespace.com and use iPad Today as the offer code. And by Gazelle, the easy way to sell or recycle the used gadgets lying around your home or office. Don't just sell it, Gazelle it! For a 5% bonus payment for your used gadgets, go to Gazelle.com, offer code iPad. And by Slingbox. Watch your favorite TV shows when you're away from home with Slingbox. Check out Slingbox at a Best Buy near you or visit slingbox.com slash twit. Yes, it's iPad Today starring Sarah Lane. The and dancing. Leo Laporte. Sarah Lane and me, I'm Leo Laporte. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I'm fine. You're actually Leo Laporte. Shh. If we want to be. Well, because we're going to France in December, not together. Sarah. Well, we may be seen together. We with may be other seen people. together. We should prepare people for the possibility. <laughs> that we that we're be... not the same person. You, you and I are both going to Le Web, Le Week Le Mur, by the way. Le Mur. I always say his name, Le Mur. It's Le Mur. His, his, uh, his conference in Paris. Le Web. And uh, Le Web. Looking forward to that. That's going to be You're going to be speaking. Yeah, I will be. Yeah. Uh, they did not invite me to be a keynote speaker this year, but maybe next year. Why don't I just haul you up on stage? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> we could do iPad Keep Today there. They want us to do a show. We could do iPad Today there. The you French don't want to do it. We've talked about this. Yeah. So I have to bring cameras. And... I know. There is effort that goes into production. Yeah. We could talk about it afterwards. Yeah. But for now, we're just here in the good old US of A doing our show like we do every Thursday. Now, it's just a rumor, but the rumor mill seems pretty confident. That Friday, November 12th, mm -hmm. 10 a.m. Pacific time, mm -hmm. Apple will push iOS 4.2 to the iPhone and the iPad. Best news ever, and not a moment too soon. Because of, it's been, of, it, I've been waiting for longer than I thought I'd yeah. be waiting. Now, we have 4.1 on the iPhone, which is a lot of the features of 4.2, with the multitasking, the folders. They'll mm -hmm. be brought to the iPad. Right. Uh, and, you know, I've talked to a number of people who have taken the developer's version and put it on their iPad who tell me, it's like a whole new device. Well, I mean, once once iOS 4 came out and I got used to using it on my iPhones, I mean, the the iPad is can be really clunky just to navigate. It does feel a little antiquated. It does. Or it just seems like it, it works so well and so similar in most ways, except my double-click. You know what, I have to double say, click. And, and this was always a problem for me with the iPad. In fact, if you watch this show, you'd often see me searching through all of my apps. Just folders alone the ability to say you know oh here's 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 you know my news applications and have them in a folder like that is a huge improvement because people are going to want that alone i don't multitasking i am of two minds on multitasking well you've always said this but you're the best candidate for it because you have so many apps <laughs> yeah and, and what don't you like about well, being able to organize better and being able to have things um, running in the background. On a uh, certainly on a phone, switching. multitasking. I think you see this on the f iPhone can cause le cause reliability issues. Um, you have to then get smart about uh, the apps have to be updated. You have to get smart about what apps do when they're in the background. Mm -hmm. How do they bow out gracefully? It, get, it makes it much, much, much more complicated. That's true. It makes it more complicated, and it's not like a desktop system where you're like, see all windows. Right. Okay, where am I? I don't, you so only have a little that. screen here, and well, frankly, this is a much bigger screen than an iPhone. Screen. Well, and that's the thing. Maybe multitasking on an iPad does make more sense. Although I always thought, you know, the fact that I can exit out of Safari, go to Mail, go back to Safari pretty quickly, was almost felt like multitasking. But we'll mm. see. Mm. We'll see. Mm. That's going to be the, one of the big features. And just uh, like on the iPhone, if you double tap the home button you'll see applications that are running in the background. Now, and this is what we're going to talk about today, not all apps, even if they're in the multitasking row, not all apps are multitasking aware. 
some apps will will not know how to handle this won't won't really be running in the background they'll just be in that in that tray right so we're going to talk about ios 4.2 ready apps that's today. right 4.2 apps that'll shine shine <laughs> so what are the really features shine. That that they what are, what is it they need to do? They need to be able to run in the background. They need to be able to run in the background. They've got to push updates. I mean, if you if you switch back to the Twitter app, the Twitter app's got to be updated so you don't have to refresh True. it. And a, a perfect example would be an instant messenger, which right now, when you leave IM Plus, for instance, which is the instant messenger mm -hmm. client I use uh, currently on the iPad, it basically is dead, and their servers have to record what's going on. Uh, and then when you relaunch it, it's a total. I, I've stopped trying to use IM on the iPad because not nothing very, actually works very well. It doesn't well. really work. You know, you know, you're kind of not seeing. Even the notifications aren't that great. Or what what will happen is I will have um, what I think I've exited out of the system, but somebody is having a one way sided conversation with me, and later they'll go, "Didn't you get all my IM? Right. Where were you? It said that you were on, and I wasn't. I you know I never got any notice." So, Leo. Presumably, uh, presumably they'll fix this. Uh, you know, current, I don't think IM Plus has been updated. Now, th first of all, how do you figure out if you've been updated? Sometimes it'll say in the description. I mean, the, the way that I always um, use it is I, I, I search through iTunes Store and I look at the date. <laughs> That's exactly know. what I do, too. Did it come out November, say, 5th or 6th? Yeah. It's probably a 4.2. And they'll update. usually say, you know, the, the, the developers have... They've got clever ways to grab your eye in the beginning of the description before you uh, expand right. it. You know, they'll say like asterisk, asterisk, all 4. caps, 4.2 4. 4. 2 available, it's here. updated. But yeah, that's, I don't know of any better way to do that unless I just happen to know or have seen an article about it. Right. Boxcar, so I spent a consider for example. Yeah, Boxcar? What is that? I don't know that. Boxcar is, it's like an all-in-one push notification uh, mm. system. So it's like if you wanted to... Um, anytime anyone mentioned you on Twitter, you want to get like a notification that has to do with that. That's a really vain example, but um, it's it yeah, it's it's sort of like push notifications for a variety of of, of services. Um, they're uh, updating for four point two as well. Oh, interesting. Although I don't okay. think they have yet. But yeah, so now a lot of companies are like, we're getting there. So I right. think everyone's kind of waiting so that they have their big launch at an appropriate time. But since you already have 4.2 running. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Well, you mm. obviously do because we saw your folder. Well, I've simulated it because it, it would be illegal to run it until it actually becomes available. Very true. Very true. But I have been playing. I did spend some time last night looking for apps that you know, use 4.2's multitasking, uh, you know, folders no, or Game Center is another thing that we're going to get. So the games that use Game Center, looking for some. Some of it you know because of the iPhone, because mm -hmm. it's had 4.1, so you're going to see some of that. Right. So uh, we have some apps uh, for you that do, in fact, take advantage of 4.2. I mean, not, it doesn't make sense for some apps, like a word processor to, multi, you know, go in the background is a big deal. Yeah. I, I mean, if you the, the fast switching... I mean, everybody That's benefits fine. from that, yeah. but it's not too different. Not such a big than speed for something like yeah. that. But for now, there's something that's still up in the air, and that's Air Print. The ability for, and this is everybody. Apple says no, it's going to be able to print. Mm -hmm. uh, the ability for the iPad to print. Now that a word processor could absolutely benefit from. Um, I don't know if I, my senses are going to have to update uh, the Macintosh because it's going to be computers shared via the Macintosh. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't see. Um, I don't. I don't see any print features in here. So I'm really not sure how that's going to be uh, implemented. They did not. You know, they recently did 10.6.5, and there was no printing, no iPrint in there. So I don't know when that's going to happen. Well, hopefully, we'll find out on Friday, November. November twelfth. November twelfth. Although I did hear something about a meeting down at Apple tomorrow that was pushed until next Friday. I don't know what that mm. means. But I don't want to wait another week. Mm -mm. I tell ya. So, Nabbit. what is an app that would be benefit? Skype. Skype. Would benefit. Skype is a great example. I would launch Skype, but then you'd see all my friends' Skype names. So, I don't know if that's the best idea. <laughs> I'll launch Skype because maybe they don't have, I don't have any friends or certainly won't have them anymore after I launch Skype. Right. So, yeah, uh, you go Skype. ahead and launch Skype. Now, Skype is not an iPad app. No, it's an iPhone app, and it doesn't even uh, work in landscape mode. Right. So that's annoying. <laughs> so <laughs> so there's sideways see. Skype. But, and this took a while. They eventually did up, update it on the iPhone, mm -hmm. only recently. So it took a while after 4.1 came out on the iPhone. But now Skype will run in the background. 
That means when I exit out of Skype and I continue to, to, to work and do other things and I get a Skype call, it will let me know and I can go, I can double tap here and go right to that Skype call. So Skype is still running, see? Right. Or if you're on a call and someone says, well, what was the name of that thing? You go, let me launch Safari real quick. And you're talking to them at the Isn't same time nice? and you don't have to call them back. Yeah, because that's a nice Because the feature. problem with Skype is it's it's awesome that that uh, even though it's not, it's not set up for the iPad, really, you can use it. Uh, you can even use it over 3G, but you can only do that. That's right. all you can do at right. once. And as we all know... Who talks on the phone and just stares at a blank wall anymore? You're usually doing a bunch of other things, and it should work that way on the iPad as well. So Skype will benefit Pandora, which we talk about all the time. Yeah, I think the big category is music players in the background. Mm -hmm. So Pandora is the one that everybody, in fact, it's the one Apple, when they released 4.1, uh, showed everybody, said, look, it'll play in the background now. And yes, Pandora does Shall I shall I start some music? So I, do. I love Pandora. In fact, I just uh, renewed my Pandora Plus. Which <laughs> which which radio station would you? Uh, um, you know, I think how about something classical, so we won't get sued. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so something gonna... in the public domain, perhaps. Yes. Well, like, no, nothing like... on uh, nothing on Pandora is probably in the public domain, but there's some beautiful Jusquin de Pre. There you go. Medieval music. Now, in the past, when you press the home button, the music would stop. I can now continue on surfing. Doing anything I want, and I still get the music, and that's really, I to me, that's like that and Skype are the number one and number two reasons why you would. But to me, it's really fantastic to have multitasking. Absolutely, I mean, Pandora, um, Pandora is by far what made me kind of get on the music and the cloud train. Right. But above all other services, some of which are amazing. But well, Pandora, there's RDO, there's, there's RDO. Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. um, but I love Pandora. I, and you, and Pandora just, it's just, it's be, it's this thing. It just, it just works really well. And I find myself very rarely launching my own music library and picking an album because I'm like, eh, I don't want to pick an album. I just... I sort of want to surf. You know, now, I want Pandora now, for, to surf for me. Now, when you've got the music playing in the background, you might say, well, what do I have? Do I have to go back to Pandora? No. Double tap. That's going to bring you back to this multitasking bar and then swipe to the right. Mm -hmm. And then now you get, and this is true on the iPhone too with 4.1, we saw this. You can pause. Mm -hmm. uh, you can change the volume. Uh, this is new. In fact, this is only something that Apple just put recently into 4.2. You can also control the brightness right there. And remember, we had the little fight over whether this physical button on the top of mm -hmm. the iPad mm -hmm. should be the orientation mm -hmm. lock. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to flip it and watch what it is now. It's mute. And you sound so bummed about that, but I find it uh, very handy, especially if you were listening to Pandora on your iPad, well, for wait example, a and you just said... Don't get so excited. See, it's muted. Yeah. Don't get so... You're, you're, you're overexcited because it's muted. Do you hear anything? You do, don't you? Yes. This does not affect everything. Oh, interesting. And now, so I what don't know it? if Pandora has to be rewritten to impact, uh -huh. for it to impact that or not, but it does uh -huh. not, in fact, impact everything. It does impact all system sounds, but not all, not all music. That's weird. We do still have a rotation lock, but that's that's this now. It's it's hidden a bit. Although the brightness that is nice because I do, I like do adjust my brightness, especially when my battery's getting low. Yeah. That's the first thing I do is take yeah. as much brightness as I can Before away. Before you had to go to settings and yeah. all that. So. You know, one of the things that was funny about Pandora when, when four point one came out and I was trying to get familiar with it, so it's like, okay, I can run Pandora in the background and I kept saying, Well, how do I stop Pandora? How do I get out of Pandora? And someone was like, You don't, you just Pause it. Right. Just pause it, and then right. you're done. It's as if you've exited out of the program. That took me a while to get on board for, but that's great because then it's always kind of ready to keep going wherever I left off. What's Flight Control HD? Well, before before we get to that, because I will show what Game okay. Center does, but there are other audio programs that you might want to run in the background. Pandora's not the only one. No. Some of the radio apps do work. iTuner Internet Radio. Remember we talked about radio apps. We did. Also plays in the background. Um, so does Wonder Radio. Uh, Mediafly does also and of course you can listen to twit on that so you can now be listening to your podcasts and uh i'll just i'll pull up a i don't know something single malt mutt i don't know yeah that, that sounds is. good single malt mutt <laughs> that's our kind of music <laughs> it's, I, I, it's I like now, mutts and I, you like single malt uh, i couldn't find a video application that like oh 
well, this is going to take a while. It's like a New Yorker. It's a New Yorker cartoon. cartoon. But, but I couldn't find a video application like Hulu Plus, Netflix. None of these would run in the background. And I guess that makes sense because video, you don't want to run in the background. But what if you're watching a video podcast, you'd like to hear it? So I imagine in some cases that will work. Mediafly does run in the background. Um, some alarm clock apps do too. Isn't that another reason? Another thing you'd like to have run in the background? Remember we talked about these great alarm clock apps like Nightstand is one of my favorites. But you had to leave it running right. for the alarm to work. Well, not anymore. We can now set an alarm, and uh, and it will continue in the background. So shall I add an alarm here? Add an alarm. Okay, yeah, so uh, let's could... set it to go off in a minute. How about that? Sounds good. Okay, and I'm going to exit out of here. And uh, in a couple of minutes, we're going to have an alarm. So it's not now currently running, as far as you can tell. You know, we're going to do other things. And uh, and let's see if the alarm goes off in a couple of minutes. So it's I couple great, of, too. Couple, if you're about to go to sleep, you, you do, set you the really alarm, and then you that. go, oh, I forgot to, I yeah. got to look something else out. You don't have to re... Um, Awaken, my other favorite, favorite alarm clock app does it, but the one with the Tibetan bells that I showed a couple of weeks ago does not. So you really need to, uh, you need to try your alarm clock app. Come on, Tibet, live in the now. I'm sure, I'm sure... <laughs> I got that. I got it. That was a that was a good, that was a Zen joke. Thank you. Yeah, um, I, I I think that apps. You know, four point two is brand new. It's going to take a while. Apple called a few weeks ago for developers to get their four point two apps out. Mm -hmm. That's how we thought uh, four point two was coming soon, mm -hmm. um, and it's going to take them a little while. But for now, a surprisingly large number, and I think that's because of the iPhone apps work. So, what else is new in four point two? Well, it's Game Center. That's And we've seen this on the iPhone as well. This is Apple's response to things like the Plus Network and Open Faint. It's a game network. Uh, so Game Center, um, I'm logging in right now to my Game Center. You can see these are some of the Game Center games. There's quite a few of them. Um, it will allow you to make friends and challenge each other. For instance, uh, Field Runners, which is, hadn't, hasn't been updated yet for the iPad, but has been for the iPhone. People can challenge you. See, here's my field runners. And some people are giving me field runners challenges. Fruit Ninja. Uh, here's friend requests. So I could say, yeah, Adrian, you can be my buddy. Um, that might have been a mistake. Uh, <laughs> gonna He's going to school gonna you get a, Fruit Ninja. Well, I'm just going to get a few friend requests. You see, I have quite a few friends already right. on here. Um, here's, this is, I'm looking at Desolate's friends. Uh, he's, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Nightstand. Oh, alarm just went off. Ooh. There it is. <laughs> Nightstand wants to be by. Oh, oh no, that's no, my alarm. it's my alarm. And then Libby, that that's a friend. So so now there would be music here, but I didn't set music for the nightstand. But see, that alarm is going off. Yeah. Isn't that great? Turn it off. So that worked. Great. Isn't that nice? I Yay. love it. Yay. Yes, that, he could be my friend. That, yeah. really, that oh. really is. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew I would have trouble when I did that. And that's not, I mean, you could think of it as a timer, too. Just something like, I want you to just pop up a notification in two hours because I got to change the laundry all or stuff. all sorts of stuff. And, you know, it's and, not and, just about and your box, what is it called? Boxy? Box, box car. Box car. Box car. That would also take advantage of that. So that's, mm -hmm. that's going to be great for some applications. Um, so this is. An example of a Game Center game, Flight Control HD, already been updated for 4.2. I'm going to regret this. A lot yeah. of people want to be my friend. Good work. Uh, leaderboards and so forth, all coming from, uh, coming from. Uh, see, welcome, Chief Twit. That's my Game Center ID. So they're they're coming from Game Center. It's going to upload the data from. I am a passenger. Uh, if I land 32 more aircraft, I could be promoted to cabin crew. So you could, I'm going to turn off notifications in a minute or two. These are other people in Game Center. So it really makes gaming more social, more interesting. I'm glad Game, Game Center has finally come to the uh, the iPad. I think that's a that's a great thing. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Mr. Bubbles and HR. You're so popular. I, I have a lot of new friends. It's good. You know, um, yeah, it's uh, game, our Game Center is good for... Do you uh, use it? No. I'd like to. I just haven't. You haven't, have to play. Uh, uh, the game has to be game center enabled, and you know we play games plus games like uh, we cut rule, the rope. Cut the rope. Those are plus games. Mm -hmm. uh, Open Faint has a bunch. Of, is the same thing. Gaming network. Um, I don't know if they're going to go away. If they're going to somehow integrate with Game Center, but because Apple's doing it, I imagine Game Center will eventually be the dominant uh, form of social gaming. So there's a few apps. It's um, good. It's exciting. Dropbox. Now, see this. I don't understand. Dropbox said. Well, they just pushed a 4.2 update. I don't know what that... I don't know how that would... I don't really... How, how it would change anything? Yeah. Um, Why do you want background processing? For Dropbox. For Dropbox. I'm not sure. Well, because what if somebody... What if you're in the process of uploading something into your Dropbox... And you just want to check it sporadically... Oh, maybe to if see it's if a big... Uh, there. It, could be, it could be a big download. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
And that way you don't have to launch it and then refresh and wait. So that would be actually really helpful for Dropbox folks. Very, very good point. Well, Leo, it's all very exciting. 4.2. Coming soon. Coming soon. We think, we don't know. Apple hasn't said, but everybody seems to agree. If you, you know, if you're watching this after the fact, 10 a, you know, the show will come out and then you can get it 10 a.m. Pacific time, Friday, the 12th of November, supposedly. Remember the remember it's 12th of November. Wow, no, that no. came up. Is, that, really is that Guy Fox Day? Remember, remember. The no, fifth? it was the fifth. Yeah, that's I just what I thought. made the joke again. By the way, Veterans Day. Happy was, Veterans Day. I don't know if you say happy. No. We salute. Yes. The men and women who have served and are serving in armed forces to keep this country strong and great and free and uh and 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 in many cases uh making the ultimate sacrifice there's a veterans day parade in petaluma it going on right neat. outside the window neat. right yeah. now you know it was so cool i was talking to tom I, you know i'm listening to npr on my drive up and uh, they're talking about veterans day and ceremonies in washington and and i get into petaluma and i turn the corner and i'm like what is this? Some sort of a movie being shot? You know, there's sailors down at the diner, and I went, Isn't it cool? Oh, yeah, it's Veterans it's Day. It's so cool. It I is mean, cool it, because it, most towns don't have a big to do. Right. Well, uh, many it's towns. Wonderful. Maybe most towns. You know what do. they do in Canada, and I wish, and I think some people do it here, they're, they wear poppies on their lapels. And I wish I had some poppies, but people here don't do it. The little. A well, it's illegal fabric. to pick them, you know, in no, California. Yeah, no, those are the California poppies. But the little red poppies, and it's because of uh, World War One, Flanders Field, and the poppies that were stained with blood. And. But that's uh, that's kind of the this. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's it's it, well, I I didn't know it until I went to Canada, and everybody wears a little red that's poppy cool. on their lapel. I think it's a very nice. It would be nice to be able to do something in solidarity, wouldn't it? It would be, but we're doing it now. We're doing and we're, it, now. and I'm flying the flag at home. We put out our American oh, flag. Oh, I know. Linnell's got her flag out. Yeah, she good loves for that flag. Good for Linnell. So for the links to all the apps that we mentioned in our 4.2, it's almost here edition of I've Had Today. Just visit at twit.tv slash IPT. You can watch our past episodes there. You can subscribe to future shows. You can get it in iTunes or, or We'd like or it if, right if you'd email us too and maybe tell us your favorite 4.2 apps. Maybe next week we could talk about more apps that have gone 4.2. I'd love to. Um, why? Uh, maybe you could tell me why Dropbox should be 4.2. I guess you could play music. Music back. So if you're playing music back, that, that would make sense. We're bringing um, music back. Other ways you could use 4.2. And at this point, I don't know anything about AirPrint. We were promised that you'd be able to print from the iPad over Wi-Fi shared net, uh, printers. And I don't know where that would show up or how it would show up. So maybe by next week we can talk about printing from the iPad because that's something we've needed absolutely from day one. No kidding. Print away. We were promised jetpacks. <laughs> don't break your iPad. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> well, I feel very strongly about that. What is our e email address? Our email address is iPadToday at twit.tv. And, of course, a quick reminder, if you're not watching live, that's okay. You don't have to. But if you want to, we record the shows uh, live every Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. That's 1.30 Pacific and 7.30 a.m. in Melbourne, Australia the next day. And a lot of other times in between. So watch us live if you can, but if you can't, you can always um, download, subscribe, and any of that good stuff later. And we're on uh, ooh, YouTube ooh, if you ooh. prefer to watch us that way as I well. I finally found an app that prints. What? The browser prints. Thanks to uh, somebody in our chat room who, t who told me, Mr. Thompson, there, so I'm on our page, right? Yeah. And you know there's there, that share button that right? you normally email, add bookmark, add home screen, and <gasps> ooh. print. Ah. That is very exciting. Now, of course, for this to work, you have to have an air you have to load print, up your printer. printer, and that's not currently in OS 10. So when they push 4.2, uh, I imagine they will also push some software to enable that on OS 10, and I presume Windows. Um, it we'll also need a new iTunes, I believe. Uh, usually when there's a big update like that, you need a new iTunes as well. This is very exciting Life indeed. Hacker does have an article Josh Brown is telling me that tells you how to do this kind of hack it. But uh, you don't need to do it today. Tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow. Relax. Wait till tomorrow. Relax. All right. Oh, Squarespace.com. <laughs> How could I forget our favorite way to make a Don't website? Don't forget Squarespace. They're a wonderful way. That's what I use on my website, Zerlian.com, even though I haven't updated in a while. <laughs> You've been busy. You know what I do? Um, I use Squarespace uh, all the time to check comments uh, via my iPad. Yeah, because it's got, got that got a great, great iPhone or iPad. 
I guess the iPhone just, app on the uh, iPad works fine. Yeah, I mean it's it's not iPad enabled. It's it's you gotta you gotta blow it up to two X, but it works really well for because I man I get a lot of you know you get rid of that, comment spam. You can control the whole thing. Look at yeah. Squarespace is so. Let me explain what it is first of all because it's not maybe something you you kind of are familiar with. It is hosting plus software. So you're paying for web hosting. Your site will be hosted by Squarespace.com. Of course, you can use your own domain name as you do. Sarah, what is it? Sarah Lane. Dot yeah, com? Yeah. yeah. That works fine. Uh, but it's also this great Squarespace software. That's really the secret behind Squarespace, which is, in turn, the secret behind exceptional websites. The software is empowering this incredible iPhone app. Uh, um, the templates, 60 plus. Oh, man. You know, you start. Now, Sarah had a designer working with her. But you don't have to be a designer to, to get a site that looks like it was done by a pro. And it's not cookie cutter. Every site looks unique. You have absolute control of it. Of course, if you are a designer, if you like working in CSS, the sky's the limit. You can do anything. And if you don't believe me, just look at some of these amazing example sites at squarespace.com uh, slash iPad today. I mean, these are just, I mean, I'll just pick one at random. This, you can't, you know, every site looks different. E-commerce is possible, um, and look, a nice big plug for Squarespace on that site. They're obviously very happy Squarespace users. Everybody I know who uses Squarespace, Squarespace is one of those uh, services happy. where, you know how sometimes if someone's using WordPress, it's like very obvious? You know, just Not there, Squarespace. There's, there's certain, you know, sometimes I'll yep. scroll up and down trying to find that Squarespace button because I think this looks like Squarespace, but I'm not sure because there's no They're telltale thing. They're all unique. They're very all unique. unique. And that's, uh, that's one of the things I really like about Squarespace. Look, here's the deal. Go to squarespace.com. You can sign up for free. You don't need a credit card or anything. You need you need you need three things: a site name, mm -hmm. a password, your email address in case you forget the password. They don't even make you enter the password twice. <laughs> and the, and then you just enter the captcha here, and boom, you're done. You're ready. You're doing a site. Alex Lindsay was in a restaurant the other day, and the restaurant didn't have a website. He said, "Well, let me do it." And before he left, he had a great looking website set up for the restaurant. He said, "You know, it's up for two weeks. If you decide you want to buy it, just to, just to go to the pricing plan and buy it." You don't have to. $12 a month it starts at. And if you use iPad today as the offer code, you will save 10% for the life of your site. Squarespace is so easy and so fun that it's the kind of place where you just create sites for, you know, any reason. Like, you know, maybe a Thanksgiving site or a holiday card or, you know, I've got iOS 4.2. You've got a gallery of photos. You don't even have to be a photographer selling anything. Yep. There's a great, there's great visual ways to display uh, content that you might have. It's worth looking through some of the examples because they've got examples of great sites that you might say, "Hey, this actually kind of applies to me," and I've never right. thought about this before. Here's a photographer uh, using this for his portfolio, Matthew Anderson, and just it's, it's, I mean, this is all Squarespace. This is all, but you would never know. I mean, it's just, they really, every site looks fantastic. I mean, this is something that you could say, let's say you've taken, you take a family vacation every year. Imagine doing you that. You know, you have in your portfolio, yeah. you call it something else, you got a drop down of Paris 2010. Let's do that. Let's do a Squarespace site for, uh, we should. for our trip to Paris. Yeah. You know what we should do? We should have a Squarespace twit um, on the road. We could so do that. So every time well, we that we our, do you know, something, you know, all our pictures from CES in January, we can have into that's our. That's a great idea. Yeah. We have, uh, you know, inside.twit.tv is a Squarespace site. That's kind of what that, that's all about. It's yeah, yeah I guess we could incorporate it into that. Well, we could make one on purpose built. That's the nice thing about squarespace.com slash iPad today. Try it free and then uh, use iPad today to save 10%. Woohoo. So what's been going on in iPad land? Well, a lot, a lot, Leo. You know, Skyfire apparently is coming to the iPad very soon. They so did. Says the Skyfire Did people. we talk about this last week? Where we they, didn't. They did it for the iPhone. Yes. And because it uses the Sky... You, sh you were showing to me. It uses the Skyfire servers to encode the video. It crashed their servers, so they said, no more! Right. They took it off, but they made some money anyway. They made a million dollars in their first weekend. That's amazing. Which just goes to show you that if you have an app that you charge, what, like two ninety nine, I think it was, for, and you get a lot of interest, you make a lot of money in a short amount yeah. of time. And of course, Apple's going to take 30% of that, but that's still... I'll take 700000 for two days. Yeah. yeah. And, so, and it also goes to show you that people really do want to be able to play Flash. You know, it's interesting. Skyfire first came out on Windows phones, and then they did an Android version. Uh, this is kind of the I think there's BlackBerry. This is their last major platform. But I have to think they made more money in those two days on the iPhone than they made on all the others combined. I, I would like to know. I'd like to see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's somewhat 
overwhelming, really. Uh, you know, they didn't have to shut down their servers <laughs> for any of those other platforms. I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> flood, you. a flood of interest. Well, uh, iOS folks like the idea of saying, "Could we play Flash? Let's try. It's only two dollars or three dollars. Let's give it a shot." Um, also in the news, turns out that Rim's playbook he is uh, made by David Prager. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It does look like him, doesn't it? <laughs> this is the article about RIM's playbook, which is the, the BlackBerry tablet. Eric Zeman from Information Week looks like David Prager. You heard it here on iPad episode yep, 19. Yep, yep, So this playbook, uh, which I haven't held in my hot little hands. No one has. Yeah. So it's... it's That's why I'm kind of a little suspicious. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be uh, under $500. But the thing is, is that... So the... the 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 stock version of the iPad is also four ninety nine, right? Right. Well, the playbook is is going to have what a thirty two and a sixty four version, and they're not even saying. I think it's what sixteen and thirty two. It's not even 30, that big. Yeah. Sixteen and thirty two, but they're not saying oh the thirty two will be under five hundred and the sixteen will be even right. less. It's like this doesn't necessarily mean you know everyone when they said ooh but uh, under five hundred this is serious iPad competition territory here. Because anything that's... And priced. this one is not including 3G. This is just Wi-Fi. So it's kind of like the iPad in the sense that I that's the base. I thought it was Wi-Fi and 3G. No, and not yet. And then they'll yet. do Wi-Fi only later. Are they getting that backwards? Yep. Okay. The first version of the playbook will be Wi-Fi only. Then RIM will eventually add cellular oh. radios. Oh. Well, see, so the, this is the issue. is like none of these guys can come down that oh, you much. You know where you're confused? The Galaxy Tab is 3G and no Wi-Fi. That's what it is. Have you seen one of those yet? Cause yes. Um, I what do you think? Fooled around with one at CTIA, and they were quick to tell me, now this isn't the yeah, totally, yeah, totally, yeah, totally, yeah. totally finished model. Yeah, but how different could it be? I mean, the hardware was there. I mean, I wasn't, um, I, I wasn't impressed enough to want to buy one. Right. Uh, but I mostly had an issue with um, the ratio because it was very wide. The it's landscape looking, was very wide. Yeah, the, it's a, the, it's a, it's not like ours is four three. No, it's sixteen nine. Yeah, and, and it, I, you know what it does is when you're in um, portrait mode, it makes viewing websites weird because they're right. very scrunched. Right. Right. It's like bringing in a browser and scrunching it for no good reason. Steve so, Jobs very famously said. Um, nobody wants a seven-inch tablet. He, you know, he might have been right. Everybody I've talked to who said who's played with the, the Galaxy says, well, seven inches, maybe not. Some folks seem excited about. Yeah, you, know, you know, people keep saying, oh, think of where you can put it. It's like, well, nobody has a pocket that big. Yes, I know if you wear really oversized. Well, you pants, can't put you an iPad in your pocket either. But I just like the. I but think the, the iPad, iPad is just a seven-inch right. tablet. It's just right. I think so too. I I. I don't, I'm not I saying that because this show is called iPad Today. It's well, Yes, I am. Well, it, but that's why we're doing the show, because we like we the like product. We like the product. Right? It, the product doesn't need to change. So, Playbook, I don't know. I guess we'll have, to, we'll have to see it and touch it, get the tactile vote. But for now, I think to myself, you know, why not debut it for 350 or something? And then you've really got something, because then you can say, look how much cheaper we are than the iPad. But they got to cover their costs like anybody else. Leo, have you seen the first Verizon iPad commercial? Yeah, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it is, because, well... There's a MiFi. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that you can put in your it pocket. It looks just like uh, an iPad commercial, but uh, it, the roof goes away, and then you're sitting in the backyard with no walls. You know, the, I had to watch this a couple times because the first time I watched, I went, what just happened? <laughs> so, so he's I on the beach. You the, use the iPad and your house goes away? Well, I don't... The, I think the message that they're trying to, to, uh, to push to us is, you know, you're using your iPad in your office, but you know what? Anything could be your office. Oh. You can go to the top of a mountain, and I, I think it. that was in Malibu. Oh, I get it. And it's like you're in an office because you can go anywhere with your mind. I iPad. understand. So Verizon iPad commercials, they're in the wild. You saw them here, unless you've seen them somewhere else. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited. I'm going to download this right now. What? The Washington Post iPad app. Well, you should download it now because it's only going to be free until February 2011. And then it's going behind a... Uh, a uh, paywall? Paywall. I was about to say firewall, and I thought, no. I know that word isn't going to... Isn't really? right. Yeah. But does that mean that uh, I will have to end up paying for... Con I bet it is. Yes. The app is free, but... Well, they say the app will be free until Feb 2011, after which we'll go to a subscription model. 
And so, it's, so I think the idea. Even if I get it now, it's not going to be free. No, forever. it's going, but it will be free for a short period of time. So if you're yeah, a Washington you Post subscriber, to get you hooked, you uh, or if you're not a subscriber, you can download it now, and yeah, they'll get you hooked, and then they'll make you pay later, or you can just get some free stuff for now, and then go uh, read something else. That's usually what I do. I hop around on free services. Well, you know, I think it's kind of interesting because, as you know, the New York Times app now isn't just New York Times Select. It's the full New York Times. Which it always should have been. And it's free. It's great. So I'm very happy. I don't need the WAPO. I got the NWATA. <laughs> right? Not tea. Night tea. Not night tea. Night tea. I got the night tea. Honey, uh, can you bring me the nighty? <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny because the uh, the uh, well, I pay for the Wall Street Journal app, mm -hmm. and um, uh, because I bought the Wall Street Journal, so I I you know I've got the Wall Street Journal, and, and I try to get rid of the paper paper because I get the the full paper in the iPad. Why not just try to have just the and one? And they version? said no, you can't. You have to get the paper. It what costs is more. the logic, though? It's, it costs more not to get the paper than to get the paper in the iPad app. So you pay more yes. to save a tree. I don't get it. I don't get that at I all. So they just, I'm sticking, they, they, their system isn't I'm updated I'm sticking yet. with the ad-supported, absolutely free New York Times. I think they do a very nice job of the Times. And now that it's, you know, everything, I think that's great. The New York Times app is a tough one to beat. Uh, again, Washington Post, it's free. It's free, so I'm going to get it. It won't be free forever. I'm going to get it. Just be beware. Don't get hooked, kids. Don't get hooked unless you've got some coin that first, you'd like to part first with. First one's free. Then again, but you know, perhaps they're working on some sort of an update. You know, it, it's hard to know where we're all going to be in February. February is so far <laughs> away. I'm going to be in Buenos Aires. You are? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, gosh, you yeah. are. You're such a globetrotter. Yeah, I'm These excited. These are going to be... When when we're at, by April, when we're limping out of Austin, mid March, when we finally so get to exhausted. April, you're you know what my be schedule like is? A shell of a man. December Paris, yeah. January CES in Vegas uh -huh. and MacWorld. We're doing two things. Right? February, I'm going for three weeks on a Mac Mania cruise to Buenos Aires, Antarctica. I'm going to. Have you? How many continents? Have you been to every continent? No, I haven't been to Africa. Or I, Antarctica. I've been to, I've been to all but Antarctica. I've been to Africa because I've been to Egypt. So I am going to go to Antarctica. And that will make seven continents. You and then in dog. March, South by Southwest. And, and then in April, I'm perhaps we'll be in Rwanda. No, I don't. That's Alex. Alex makes up stuff like that. Oh, really? Don't get your hopes up. I want to go to Africa. I want to go to Africa. I want to be a little baby with an iPad. <laughs> it's a small horse is frowned upon in this establishment. <laughs> Luckily, though, I, you know, I conceal this bad boy underneath my blanket. Yeah, the little so baby's got an e-trade. Check my investment portfolio. It's totally uh -oh. a mock-up, too. It's not a real yeah, iPad. It's too he... thin. Oh, I see. Solitary. Just a man and his thoughts. Love this. And a smartphone with an e-trade app. Nobody knows. <laughs> Just talking babies. They're funny. So the first time I saw this commercial, I was like, what? ugh, talking babies are the worst. Not these talking babies, But baby. this is actually pretty funny. You know, they've updated this ad. They don't show that ad anymore. Now there's a dog. They added a dog, and they took out the smartphone. I think they were getting in trouble with somebody. Oh, yeah, because he's riding the dog. Or... He's riding the dog. So now there's a dog in the lower left-hand corner of the ad. Wait, no, no, no. She that takes a... his iPad. No, she takes his iPad, and, and he says to the dog, why didn't you stop her? And the dog goes, woof, and there's no phone. Oh. They've, there's something went wrong. Because the dog is at the beginning of this commercial, too. But the dog, they're... Oh, he has, a, he has lines in the, in the new one. <laughs> well, the dog is a... It was kind of the breakout star of the original commercial. Hey, if talking babies are good... Talking dogs are even better. Yeah, well, I guess so. I, it, it's probably because the smartphone looked like some other phone. I mean, it was like a fake phone. It, wasn't, it, didn't, it wasn't an iPhone. It wasn't a real was phone a at phone. all. It was like one of those phones that they show in furniture stores that are made of air. <laughs> it was. You know? It was a I fake mean, one. But I'm sure somebody at Nokia was like, hey, that looks like our new Nokia blah, yeah. blah, blah model. Yeah. You get that out of there. Uh, every once in a while, I will let someone ask you a question. Because you are the help guy. You may all. let them ask me a question. This one comes from Reggie, and he says, uh, "Hey Leo, yeah, regarding the whole engraving that that we can now do when we buy an iPad for yep. free, isn't it true that when you take your iPad in to have the battery replaced, uh, which you might do someday, that you don't get the same unit back from Apple? And I thought that Apple simply just swapped your iPad out for a refurbished unit. And if that's true, 
when then you lose the benefit of engraving or any other customization. My only experience with this is not an Apple experience, but a, um, a Nexus One experience, which I also had engraved. Yeah. And uh, when I called up because it had failed, they said, okay, you have two choices. We give you a swap out, a new one, mm -hmm. and we can get it to you right away, but you're going to lose your engraving. Yeah. Or you can send us your phone and we'll fix it and get it back, but it's going to take five to seven days. Yeah. So I said, well, I don't need the engraving that bad. And I suspect that Apple's going to, I don't, what do they do? First of all, can we just admit here, nobody gets their battery upgraded. I know. I mean, you should. By the time you would do it, you're probably just going to buy a new model right. anyway. Because I mean, the same problem must Apple come up with, a, with, a, with an iPod Touch, right? Or an iPod that you have engraved. Mm -hmm. If you want to get the battery, what happens? Maybe they don't swap it out. Maybe they take it apart and put a battery in. I think um, far more than anyone swapping out the battery and maybe going without their phone or their iPad for five to seven days, if that was as long as it would take, it would probably be like, well, this engraved iPad of mine is now... That gift that I'll never throw out and put Maybe somewhere, that's it. Frame and now I'm going to get a new one. Yeah, it can't hold a charge, but it does hold my heart. I would, I would, I would assume that that if, well, then again, you're not paying for engraving, so Apple might sort of go. Uh, I think, I, I think we don't, first of all, we don't know what they do. They might well open it up with a butter knife, mm -hmm. put a new battery in, snap it back, and say, "Here, we don't know they give you a new one." No. How do we know that? We don't. We don't know. Has anybody traded in their, uh, their got a new battery in their iPad? Do we know what happens? We're a little early in the game for it's that. It's early in the game. and, and my, my iPad battery is amazing. Yeah. And my second contention is that, that people don't get new. They just get a new one. They don't yeah. buy. Who upgrades the battery? Apple knows that. That's why Apple seals the damn That's thing in. That's how they get you. Yeah. That's how they That's get you. That's how they get you. We try to uh, uh, pepper the show with a few accessories every week because accessories are so important to everybody, but... An all accessory show just, I don't know. It's never really seemed that interesting to me. But there uh, is this a battle week, over cases. Oh my gosh, the case battle is raging out of control. I, everybody has their own favorite case. Uh, Michael Straffen wrote in and said, Hello, Leo and Sarah. I love my iPad, but I'm lazy and I want to use it, but I don't want to hold it. But I don't want to put it on a stand either. He's very picky. I've seen a case that has an elastic strap on the back where you can slip your hand in and then you just hold the iPad without actually right. holding it. Does this make sense to you guys? I could always duct tape my hand to my iPad, but, you know, I don't want to get it wet when I shower. Please help. And this uh, the iPad Haven. stand yeah. Yeah. from Brenhaven is, is exactly what Michael is asking for, but also for other kinds of Cases. He Mine says does, he doesn't want is, a case. This is the one that I, I like a lot, and a lot of people have bought it because I use it. The Marware, mm -hmm. EcoView, it too. And I think that this comes from the days when a tablet was used on factory floors. Right. And so you'd have your, your iPad in your hand, and you'd be and writing yes, like a clipboard. But I don't know. Do people really do this? Have you ever seen anybody with I, a strap? That makes me feel like I've... It's just... I don't know. It's... Yes. Yes. It's like I'm holding a per a clutch. Purse. Yeah, I guess if you were a waiter, may I take your order, please? Oh, yeah. Actually, I've seen that. I've yeah. seen that before. So this uh, this is a great case. This is the Marware. It's the EcoView. Um, uh, I this is my day to day case. It looks like like the Brenhaven. It's got a stand, you know, and it's got the it's got the wrist strap. It doesn't have the th you know five in one. Well, that's kind of why the Brenhaven. I mean, is this cool. has a lot now, of. Now, how remind me how much your case is? It's only thirty nine ninety five. Okay, so I mean, the Brenhaven is fifty nine ninety five. So that's you know it's sixty it's bucks. It's a hard shell case. I like this because it looks like uh, just like a if you're just carrying it around, it looks like a business portfolio. Yeah. You know, just like a notebook. So it doesn't look like an iPad particularly. Yeah, and then, and it does this little you know rubber band and right, seals. And all right, right. So I like this is what I normally keep mine in is the, the Marware. But um, the Brent Haven looks good too. Yeah, it's a good one. They if make it's good uh, stuff. if you're looking for something that you can slip your hand, uh, you know, an, a little elastic strap, it's certainly a good option, and it gives you a bunch of other options as well. You know, it's like a little, you know, variety of angles to type on, all sorts of good stuff. You know what so. though, I really need because you know it's going to be cold in Paris. Mm, it's going to be very cold. It's in going Paris. to be bone chillingly bone cold. Chillingly if it's cold. anything like last December. Yep. Oh, it's cold. Yep. Why does it have to be so cold? I was there two years ago, and the fountains were frozen. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Solid ice. Wow. But how are we going to use our iPads with gloves? Because once you put gloves on, then the iPad isn't going to recognize your finger as being there at all. Oh, no. I beg to differ. What? 
<laughs> what in gosh's name is going on? So these are uh, Echo Touch gloves. This is great. It's from an, uh, a company called Echo Design. So they make all sorts of things, but then they also make this line of gloves. Yeah. They're not just for ladies either. They've got all sorts of colors no, and, but and styles. No, gentlemen do not wear pink or puce gloves. But they My wear black. If you scroll down, they there's black. nice black gloves. Okay. And as you can see, on one of the four fingers and thumb areas, they've got this... Uh, well, I'm not even sure what kind of material It's the it is. same uh, material used in uh, those frogs that you're not supposed to lick. It's uh, it's like a conductive capacitance. Uh... So it acts like a finger, yes. but it's really just a glove. I have a pair of gloves somewhere that have a hole <laughs> in the finger. Because you need to, because same, you same need thing. to use it. Because you, you need skin. Here in California, you can get away with that. In Paris, yeah, no. that finger will be very, very angry you, with you. You'd have a frostbitten finger. Plus, the device itself will be cold. So you think about it. I mean, this is not just for the iPad. It's for anything that, that uh, is touch sensitive. Does your for all, finger for all sorts bite? Of, yeah, so isn't that great? So these are... Um, they range. The cheapest one that I saw was 32 and the most expensive was 78 um, Great gift. You know, Very we're coming nice. into gift season. Echo Very Touch nice. Gloves from EchoDesign.com. You know what else would be nice? What? Getting rid of all the old crap you've got in the attic, in the basement, Ugh. in the desk drawers. We all, we're all overrun with gadgets. I got a tweet yesterday from a guy who said, hey, thank you for telling me about Gazelle. I sent them. I, I went through the Gazelle page. You know, you, if you go to gazelle.com, you can go through the Gazelle page and and uh, and you tell them the gadgets that you have that you want to get rid of, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll tell you, oh, you know, based on what you've told us, that's worth whatever, one hundred thirty-eight dollars. He says, I sent, I did that, sent my iPhone to them. They gave me more money than they said they would give me because they said, oh no, it's in better better condition than you said. Oh, that's awesome! Isn't that great? Go to Gazelle, G A Z E L L E dot com. Enter in, let's say you have the old, let's say you're ready, you're, you're getting ready to upgrade from that old iPhone 3GS to, uh, say, a new iPhone 4. You enter in the, see all the different iPhones, they know about all the different iPhones. They're on top of yeah, it. Here's a 3GS 16 gigabyte. You enter that's it in. What I, that's the one that I have. So, so wouldn't you like to get a 4? Uh, well, I have that too. Does yours, oh, <laughs> shut up. Does yours, pretend you don't. Okay. Does yours make a call successfully? Uh, yes. Is it free of water damage? Oh, yes. Except for that time MG dropped it in the urine. Well, I got a new one. Really? Yeah. Rate the overall condition? Uh, it's good. Good. It's definitely good. Good. Yes. And you have all the cables and the Yeah, I even stuff. have the original box. Yeah. I oh. can't throw out those boxes because they they're really that. cute. But they do want you to have, they, well, you know, they require anything, but you fill in what you've got. Right. Then calculate. That's 143 bucks. 143 dollars for a phone that, well, I still do use. I won't forever. You're 703 uh, percent on your way to an iPhone 4. That's right. Look at that. So now here's the deal. You put it in a box. They send you the mailing label. They pay for shipping. You can add all your gadgets to one box. Send it to them. Then they send you a check, or they send you. They can send you an Amazon gift card. Perfect. Uh, you actually get more if you get a gift card. They, will they, will they uh, replenish your PayPal account if you'd they, like yeah, that? they probably will. I don't know. I'll yeah, put, I mean, that's, that, uh, that, would be the, that, that would be really convenient for well, me. Let's just, let's just check here. Let's I don't check. know. Yeah. They have all different payment plans. Here's an, oh, this is good. You're going to like this because you're, you're, you're one of those uh, earthy, crunchy types. Yeah. You can also donate it to a cause. So, uh, in fact, you could even do, instead of a cake drive <laughs> or a bake Earthy, crunchy set, types are the people who donate to causes. Oh, yeah, the rest of us. I'm a, I'm a Sue. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't, I don't, mm -hmm. no, I don't well, know. Well. <laughs> I love those ads. Crunch on. Don't you love those American Express ads with Sue from Glee? Yeah. Don't be yeah. a Sue. Don't be a Sue. I'm a Sue. Yeah. Yeah. Kick anyway. Your kids off it, of yeah. <laughs> slides. And... The only time I stand up for a cause is when, <laughs> until I've found somewhere comfortable to sit. Yeah. That, those, those commercials are funny, although somewhat, I think some people will watch and go, huh, she's funny. Yeah. I'm not I think I'm going to be it. like that. Uh, we turn gadgets into cash for your cause. You could set up a page, dedicated page for your next uh, money raising uh, drive for your school or oh, your that's club. That's really great. Have the members send in their gadgets and the money goes to your cause. Isn't that? Yeah. There's I love more. That. I because you're another because you are an earthy crunchy type. You might also like the fact that not everything, as you probably know, in your drawers can be sold. I would like it not to be. Sometimes you want it recycled. Yes. And this is earth conscious recycling. It will never go in the landfill, folks. It will be properly disposed of in the United States with an EPA certified recycler. This is this is now 80% of Gazelle products do find a new home, but for the 20% that don't, well done recycling. 
And that's uh, that's really good for peace of mind because you know you watch these documentaries about the Chinese I mean, this, kids having this to lead in their absolute yeah, poison. That's horrible. This stuff. It's got to be disposed of properly, and a company like Gazelle doing it for you. And and I love these guys. It just makes sense. Don't sell it, Gazelle. It use the offer code iPad after you've you know loaded up your your list, and you get a bonus five percent on the value Woo of your Gazelle goods. G A Z E double -L, L E. Gazelle, Gazelle is good. Is good for the environment. No more dirty rivers. <laughs> <laughs> that's by, how'd you know that? That's my uh, folk song name. My folk singer name, Dirty Rivers. It is not. Yeah, it is. Do you know that I went to school in elementary school with a kid named Rivers Labarge? <laughs> it's like one of the best names in the world. <laughs> I don't know what happened was he to French? him. French? Mm, I don't know what he was. All right, we got some. Uh, we got some. Uh, Viewer mail. We do. Uh, this one is regarding the iPad not replacing the office discussion we had last week. Um, we had had a, uh, a video question saying, "Can we update our our office to iPads only?" And Leo said, "I don't think I don't think you can do it." Uh, Gordon Robb from Ayr A Y R Scotland, Air Air Air. He says, I got my iPad in July, and guess what? I haven't used my laptop since. I oh. use it for email, calendar, okay. and contacts, even okay. when I'm in front of my office PC as it's okay. faster. I sit corrected. I use documents to go to create and edit docs. And if there's anything I can't do, I switch on VPN and use Jump to start using my office PC right there on my iPad. Oh, well, that's not fair. He's using a remote desktop application to use his desktop. So that's not quite fair. But it's still kind oh. of like, you know, using your iPad only. So this lets you run Windows. Yes. Uh, all editions of Windows via RDP or VNC. And you can run Windows on your... I've heard of these apps. So he likes Jump, huh? He likes Jump. Yeah, it's $19.99 um, at jumpdesktop.com. Yeah, he says, uh, I'm even looking to, at using it for presentations using the VGA link. Although I'd love a Bluetooth, Bluetooth solution for that. And just this last week... Gordon stopped printing off copies of documents to discuss with clients because then he just saves them in Dropbox and then opens them on his iPad to go. work from for meetings. All right, I'll, so I'll grant you that. So it obviously depends on what kind of business you're running and what you need and how mobile you need to be and so on and so forth. But it's good to know that some folks are finding an iPad-only office solution totally doable. So there you have it, at least in Scotland. <laughs> in air. We also, we also got a voice, voicemail from Anonymous. He didn't want to tell us our name. And he had a thought on why there may be so many unactivated 3G models still. Yes, in reference to why a lot of people didn't activate their uh, iPad 3G service, I did mine because I got scared because they were talking about if you didn't do it by a certain period of time, well, then you were going to lose the right to have the unlimited for $29 right. a month. So right. there's the big surge, and I think. So I think a lot of people bought it, uh, the 3G, saying that they wanted the option for that, for the $29, all you can eat. So there you go. All you can eat. Because I don't know, we haven't looked at the numbers lately, but I think maybe when we had that conversation a few weeks back, it was like, well, why are there so many unactivated right. 3G models? And a lot of people probably just went, well, now's our chance. Got to get grandfathered in before we lose the he, opportunity. I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. How did he? How did we get his voice? That was neat. How, how would you do that? Oh, that would be our Google Voice account. So it's, oh. you just, if you want to be like anonymous. You call the home office. featured on the show. Yeah, yeah. you just call 757-504-IPAD. That's 4723. Uh -huh. In layman's terms. <laughs> All right. This is, a, that this is a fun one. This is the iPad photo shoot. This is, is, this, is that what you want to do next? What do you want to do next? Yeah, let's do the photo shoot. Um, do you remember the iPad Velcro video? It, it made the, uh, the internet round some months ago. It was a guy, it was a photographer who, he, he, made, he put together this funny video about how with just a strip of Velcro, you could do all these great things uh, with the yeah, iPad. Yeah. Yeah. So he got some attention. Well, then he made another video recently about how to use iPads as Same the only guy? light source during a photo shoot. Oh, come on. I know. <laughs> it is cheaper than the uh, the LED lights we use, the light panels, I have to admit. But a lot more expensive than other options, that's for sure. And what's funny is that... Roll a little bit of video here so people know... It gives you such a nice, light soft light. ...on our model space... It's coming from oh, an array. You got to buy six iPads. Three thousand dollars. Nine. Nine iPads in this demonstration. It's set to full brightness. Well, it looks good. It does, doesn't it? But come on. 
so what was interesting about this this video, so, you know, it kind of made the photography blog rounds. Right. And some people went, you know what, this is really cool. He did something just to do it. Right. And we respect There's no real the, the artistic nature of this. And, right. and other people said, this is ridiculous. This is a PR stunt. You know, people keep using iPads just to use an iPad because they know in this that weird way. There's shows like iPad Today which will air this which crap. Will will air it. But you know what? We're airing it to discuss whether or not it is... Well, he spent, he got nine of them that if he got the $500 ones, and I presume he did, that's $4,500. He could have bought, yeah, he could have bought a couple of light panels, I think, $2,500. bucks. No, he, he could have got a couple of light panels. Jesse uh, noticed that a lot of people were saying, oh, gosh, come on. You're like, just looking for a viral video here, and right. there are a lot of different things that you could have done. Yeah, you could have just bought real photographer's yeah. lights, for goodness sakes. And he said, listen, we actually happen to have... Enough people in my crew had iPads. We had them around. Oh, we had All them we around. did was mount them. See, part so of the issue case. is the is the you know if you're a real photographer, you're, you you you're going to use lights that are that are color balanced. You know, right. we don't know. I don't know what color is coming off the iPad. Right, right. It's not intended for this use. It's cool. It's cool. I mean, I think I think if you see, I don't think you think it's all that cool now that you're you're talking it it's through. It's okay. It's the sort of thing where. What I like about it is, yeah, most people do not have nine iPads just laying around. But every once in a while, like in in our office, we hey, could probably cobble nine iPads together. If we together had, a, if we had a lighting crisis, <laughs> and we and let's say the power's out, but I had to do a photo, a glamour shoot of you. Yes, and which it could happen. It happens all the time. Yeah. People say, "I need glamour shots of Sarah." Quick, <laughs> stat, and and then the power. Okay, the power's out. Uh, it's a dark. It's at night. It's the middle of the night. It's stormy outside. It's stormy outside. But we have enough iPads in here. We probably have nine iPads, and the camera works on a battery. I could probably do a shoot. Ken with you. just bought his D seven thousand. He has a D seven thousand. Yeah. I must be overpaying that guy. Yeah. That's an expensive camera. It's not as expensive as the five D. Oh, okay. Then it's so all right. everything's cool. That's a nice camera, actually. So yeah, so yeah, Ken could come down here, and we could do and my glamour we could do shoot. Do a glamour shoot and distribute uh, to. I don't know the photography blog. And the truth is, you white balance your pictures after the fact anyway. So does it right. Matter. So so you know, right. good, good on you, Jesse. I think you're cool. Um, don't listen to the haters. Just art for life. Art for life. Uh, Paula Bird, who's a regular viewer of the show, because I recognize her name. She uh, she wrote in and and wanted to send us a couple pictures, and she's got a kind of neat story. She says I play in the Austin Symphony, mm -hmm. but I live outside of town, and I can't get into the Symphony Library to pick up my music for practicing. Solution: The Symphony now emails me the music. I use the iPad to practice. Love the oh, show. Oh, isn't that neat? Isn't that cool? Look at her. Yeah, with Paula her little Bird. fiddle. You know, I don't know a lot of Symphony members, so Paula. Good on you. And she uh, she sent us another... Are you Australian? <laughs> no. Okay, just checking. I like to say that, though. Good on you, mate. It's one of my it's one of my uh, my phrases. I like it. Do you phrase. know that also in Australia, they'll say, instead of how you doing, they'll go, how you going? How you going? I love that. They also say, no walking furries. They do? Yeah. I was taught uh, to speak Australian when I was in uh, Tasmania. No walking yeah. furries. No walking furries, mate. That so is there she great. is with her little... She's yeah. going to want to stay tuned if she's watching the show. Because I got, you know, that expensive violin, not necessary. No, no. Not, not with your app cap. Uh, no. Before we get to our app caps, yes. I just want to remind you guys that we want to hear from you. As you can see, we love featuring you on the show. It's, we got nothing it's, better to do, let's it's, face it. It's, 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 it's a great pleasure um, of ours to uh, read your feedback, get your ideas, show your cat pictures. No cat pictures this week, so all you what? cat haters out there can How thank me. How did that happen? Me. Because I Did you felt leave them out? I felt we were overdoing it. It wasn't that we didn't get any. Oh, no, we got them. Oh, dear. I'm just going to save them up for next week. Okay. Thanksgiving episodes, send in your fat cat pictures. Uh, we do want to hear from you. iPad today at twit.tv is our uh, email, our voicemail again, 757-504-IPAD. And, of course, you can always send us a video for extra points. We love to see you and match name with a face. So thanks for watching and send in that feedback. Hey, I got my Washington uh, Post application. You How's it looking? Well, you didn't mention this part. What? It was courtesy of Exxon Mobil that it's free for the first few months. So Exxon paid for the Interesting. freebie. Interesting. You know what? It is a little more... Um, Interesting. It's it's kind of more... Uh, it's a little more... Uh, Interactive. iPad-y than, yeah. uh, than the... Uh, the New York Times. New York one. Times is pretty much straight. Yeah. Looks like the, there's, but then you got the, the Exxon, Exxon Mobil ad. ads. So well, New York you know Times what? has ads too. But it's not going to be paid for anytime soon. Yeah. So interesting. So we think. Interesting. interesting. I mean, I like the Wapo. Wapo. Uh oh. Now I have to register. 
Complimentary full access subscription until February 15th, and then you have to register. All right. I know. Nothing okay. in life is easy. No. Nothing in life is easy. Have you observed that? <laughs> yes. Have you had a hard life? No. Actually, mm. I think in the grand scheme of things, my life has been pretty swell. But I think we all can agree that things nothing can be complicated. Nothing in life is easy. Yeah. Well, not nothing. Some, Some things, things are easy. easy. Falling off a log, that's easy. Eating a cheeseburger. Easy. Very easy. Mm -hmm. Pushing that Staples button, that was easy. Chocolate malt shake. Easy. Easy going down. Our app caps are coming up in just a moment. Get that hat out. But before we do that, I want to tell you something else that's easy. That's uh, setting up your sling box. You know about sling box, don't you? Oh, I love sling box. If you don't have a sling box, I, f I just feel sorry for you. <laughs> I do. So what is a sling box? Okay, so here's what happens. How did that happen? <laughs> Sarah just floated behind me. She just floated by. You, by the way, in that sweater, you look like a fish in an aquarium. I thought I looked like Elmo. It's a cute sweater. I like it very much. Is it Elmo? Am I thinking of the right? Some Either Elmo or Patsy. Sesame Street type. Oh, of I thought you meant Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Elmo. Dr. Elmo. Do you know him? No. He lives around here. Really? Yeah. He Grandma got run show. over by a reindeer. Hey, the season's right. For Dr. Elmo to pay us a visit. That's what I'm saying. Sing us a little song. That's what I'm thinking. So then, what's this sling box nonsense <laughs> anyway? Barking dogs. So you go to the Best Buy and you buy the sling box. You bring it home. You take it out of the box. Okay, you got to do that. Nothing is easy. Take it out of the box. Now, the rest is easy. You put it then next to your television setup, your home theater. You could, you could connect your DVR, your satellite box, your cable box, your DVD, whatever. All the inputs go into the back of the uh, sling. And... And you connect it to your internet, your ethernet. You plug it in there. Okay, now you're done. That's it. From now on, wherever you go on the road, you can get your TV set up on your iPhone, your iPod Touch with Wi-Fi, your iPad, your Android. They don't have a dedicated iPad app yet, I should say, but you could use the iPhone app. But soon, I think they're going to have an iPad app. Uh, Android phone, BlackBerry. A Mac laptop, a Windows laptop, and you're watching your TV setup from anywhere you can get online. Now, why would you do that? Well, let's say you're at the, the football game, and you see the play, and then they go, we're going to have an instant replay, but you can't watch it in the stadium because they don't want you to throw knives. So you pull out your iPhone, and you fire up your sling box, and you watch the instant replay on your, on your television system from home. Or maybe the game is blacked out at the hotel, and you can watch it there. Maybe, you know, there's lots of reasons. A sling box gives you a chance to watch what you've got on your home TV, even control your DV DVR, play back your DVR from anywhere you can get online. I just want you to go try a sling box. They have demos at the Best Buy. If you go to slingbox.com slash twit, you could find out more. You could find out where there's a demo near you. Uh, it could not be easier to use, and I tell you, once you've got it, it could not be more convenient. Anytime, anywhere, watch your home TV with Slingbox. No additional fee because you already paid for the cable. You just, you know, you just use your Slingbox. It's a great deal, and it's a great product. Slingbox sounds like something that once you have, you think, how did I ever live it, without it this? It is, and I think that that's kind of what I'm trying to tell people is you maybe say, well, I don't need that, but wait, do me it's a like, favor. Remember when people didn't think they needed DVRs? Right. Oh, I don't need that. And I'll now just, life. I like watching it. It's cold and Sunday gray night, without one. Yeah. So I'm telling you, Slingbox is about the best thing you ever had. All right. Uh, put on your app cap, young lady. Oh, okay. Because you are we, are we show us. I think it's time. Let me get my app cap. I think cap. it's time, too. And by the way, the chat room um, was nice enough to point out that it's not Elmo I resemble. It's Freddy Krueger. <laughs> uh, so thank you for that, everyone. From Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, that's the one. The guy wow. who pulled out the person's veins and dragged him through the That's nice. Cafeteria. Well, we got our, our app caps on. Uh, we do. It's app cap time. And Leo... Uh, by mistake. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is, it, is, it, is this premature app capping? Absolutely. Oh, it's not right. Thanksgiving yet, oh, sir. All right, all right. I'm afraid I have to veto that oh. app cap choice. But it's very nice for uh, for the December I'll episodes. Save it. I'll save it. Save it. You know, you've seen my Twitter uh, avatar. I'm a uh, pilgrim. And I need to, I need, I, I don't have that a, hat anymore. I haven't, no. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't have that hat anymore. I need my pilgrim That's hat. That's one back. of your originals. I think you had that last year, didn't you? The I have uh, hats uh, and outfits For to all match seasons. all seasons. Yes. You may not have noticed, but that Pilgrim outfit on my Twitter, uh, I'm twitter.com slash Leo Laporte. <laughs> I have a Laverne and Shirley style L embroidered into my lapel. I don't know why. It's because that's the sort of stuff I'm that a you jolly do. pilgrim. Some You're of the pi people, pilgrim. it's often thought the pilgrims were grim and dure, and no, I'm a jolly pilgrim. Pilgrimo. Pogramo. <laughs> Austin Pfeffer Incorporated. 
All right, so real quick, uh, my app cap is awesome, and it's also called, you'll remember this, auditorium. Ah. Ah. So it's like, ah, snap, sort ah. of, with a knee. Now, you may recall a company called The 61. Do you remember that website, Leo? Well, it's still the around. The 61. Are there... Uh, the si No, what is it? The 61 was this very multimedia way to discover new artists, listen to new oh. music, like them. It was a Is it gone? Th no, no, no. It's still there. Uh, but the folks have been busy um, making a new uh, service. This is called Auditorium, and this is an iPad app. And it is amazing. So... Um, well, it's easier to just show you rather than explain it. So I'll go ahead and tap here. What Auditorium is doing now... There's Jimi Hendrix. Is No, it's not Jimi Hendrix. It's probably an artist you've never heard of. Oh, okay. It's introducing me to somebody folks. new. Independent folks. So let's say I'm just going to click on this and go, well, who is this? This is The Morning Benders. They're from Berkeley. This song is called Excuses. So this is, like a a this is like a discovery this is application. A, it's absolutely a discovery device. And is it music and artists? What, who are... The, well, so the artists, uh, what what um, the auditorium folks, which are the 61 folks have been doing is they're like finding these people and oh, getting, that's neat. you know, so you get these like little info bubbles about the artist as the song is playing. So you're just kind of sitting back and chilling out and watching it. If you click again. And we'll get a new artist next time. Um, yeah. Well, you can swipe to get a new artist or pinch or let's just say that I'm like, well, I... I like him. I want to have more. Yeah, you could buy stuff. some of his yeah, stuff. Yeah, and you or? read about the person, and they sound cool. So then, yeah, you can share if you want it, wanted to, like, you know, send out, hey, I like this band. Please check them out to Twitter, your Facebook friends. You can go ahead, and the links to buy them on oh, iTunes neat. are right there. Presumably that's how they make money. This is free, right? Yeah, it's totally free. Yep, yep. And if, for example, this, uh, it may not apply to this. Okay, it doesn't apply to this. Actually, it does. This video, what they've done with some of their artists is you can, well, you can't really hear, but what the, what Auditorium just did is it, it lowered the, the audio down. of the yeah. music. Yeah. And then they've gone around to like festivals and interviewed a lot of these oh, people. That's so, neat. so then you can see this movie is probably not going to load because, by the way, this is this app is, it's really Wi Fi intensive. So you got to be sure, sure that you you've got, got a, music, you've you got got a big good pictures, connection. Yeah. You've got video. So then you've got this artist telling you a little bit about. His influences, or where he's from, or what he's up to. That's really amazing. Also, this little um, uh, so, so this uh, applies to some uh, artists. Let's say I'm I'm kind of done with this, and I want to go on to Vivian Girls. They say they're from Earth, and this is a song called Wild Eyes. And I go, wow, she's really adorable. Jeez. Um, sometimes this little uh, YouTube link is grayed out, but sometimes the song that you're actually listening to was from a live recording, you and it'll take it. you to the the original YouTube video. So Auditorium is, and then you can, of course, just go back and, and look at your little grid of artists and choose something from there. This is so much fun. Um, they've got the lyrics to the songs that show up on the top of, of, of some of these multimedia experiences. And, I mean, I consider myself fairly hip on the music scene. I didn't know anybody that I, really? you know, I spent an hour just kind of clicking through. Never heard of any of these folks. And all of the music was really good. Oh, that's so neat. if you're, if you like this kind of, you know, some people like what they like and they're not really into discovering new artists. Well, it's not the app for you. But if you, if you like this kind of thing and it's, it's, it's kind of, um, what I like about it is it's, it's a passive experience if you want it to be. But it doesn't have to be. You can kind of click around and get a bunch of information on the artist if you so desire. So Auditorium, it's free, auditorium.com or um, through the, uh, the App Store. You know what I find interesting about that? It kind of, in, in when I was a kid, and this is before you were born, we'd wear headphones, we'd be playing record, vinyl records, mm -hmm. and you'd have the, and the records came in sleeves with pictures and liner notes, and sometimes it'd be something inside. Mm -hmm. And you'd sit, you'd listen to music, and you'd browse through the liner notes. It was uh, both an audio experience, but also a visual experience. It was a much richer experience than than nowadays with just your headphones on and you're doing something else. This kind of brings that back. It it's does, interesting. It, I, that's you know, album covers have become this thing where it's like most of the time I don't know what the album what's cover the album is cover? to yeah. the album that yeah. I, I like a lot at the moment. And this, yeah, it gives like more this. of that. And it's not a music video, you know. So it's not no, this highly produced thing that's getting yeah. sent to you. It's it's uh, it's it's kind of like a third party has said here's some. Here's some cool just info bubbles and, and links to buy, and I love it.
Auditorium. So mine is a, a, about music also. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I know that people know about this because the company that makes it, Smule, has made so many great things like the original Ocarina for the iPhone. And then they made the Magic Piano, Piano. for the iPad, which yeah. we've highlighted. Well, they've got a new one. And, in fact, I think it's number one on the iTunes Music Store. But I, I So I know I'm not telling people something they don't know about, but maybe you haven't had a chance to play with it. Since there is no way to test an application uh, on on the iPad. I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you. This is the, uh, let me pull it up here. This is the new one from Smule. It's called Magic Fiddle. Now, I got excited because what Smule's been really good at in the past is making somebody unmusical like me able to play music. Right. Well, don't get your hopes up on this one. This one, you actually have to play the fiddle. <laughs> it isn't as easy as their other stuff. They have uh, a songbook. You can play for solo. Of course, you can see how the world is playing. Let me, uh, we'll, we'll uh, listen to somebody playing their magic fiddle somewhere in the world. What's the fiddle closest to? A violin? It's a violin. It's like it, a little violin, right? Well, but like I'll show you. It's kind of, in fact, you should do the storybook mode when you first get it because it'll tell you, tell you how to hold the fiddle. It'll show you how to play the fiddle. And it is not as intuitive... Are you ready to play? Yes, I'm ready. I am. Not until you learn. Hold me correctly. Oh, gosh. Now, you, ha you have to. It's a fickle to, fiddle. You don't have to put this on your chin, but you see you have to kind of hold it like that. Your thumb is going to be on this big button here. Oh, my gosh. And then your fingers are actually going to play it. Now, let's go back, and I'll show you a, a little bit about what it looks like to play a song. So t give me a song that you'd like to hear uh, from here. Amazing Grace, perhaps? Oh, uh, let's do Canon and D. Oh, you know what? I like that one, and that was actually one of the ones that I... Uh, that I've, I, I that mean, played how, how can you not choose Canon? Yeah, Paco Bell's Canon is so wonderful. It. So remember, I'm going to put my thumb you here. Like we're at a wedding. And then as these come across, you have to hit the right color at the right length of time. Can you hear anything? I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. Oh, maybe I have the. You know what? This this might be one of the. Oh my gosh, one of the you muted that actually it. Pays attention to the mute button. So let's turn this. There, there we go. go. Now. God. It sounds like a little kid. Oh, I know it. Oh, I want to cry almost. Isn't it's it like beautiful? a little kid playing the fiddle for the first time. God, you have a day job. <laughs> <laughs> it, then you get it's achievements. Like, it like ranks you for how many you've done correctly. Fiddle it's, hero. It's it's fiddle hero. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. And you know what? This is. I know. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I hurt your ears. But this is. Oh so, come on, you guys! You don't see a guy playing a fiddle hero is, every day. It's, this is more challenging than the Magic Ocarina or even the Magic Piano. And you can, by the way, buy more songs. They've got a holiday song pack. They've kind of, Smule has kind of figured it out. And They've got look, the... it comes with a lot of songs. You can see all those songs. Look, you're not going to be able to play a real violin from this, but it's got all of the great features that uh, the Smule has. And Well, they also suggest you hold it up like a fiddle. You can play it kind of free form, and then as as with all the Smule applications, you can listen to fiddle players from all around the Ooh, world. Someone in the chat room suggested you can hang out at a subway station entrance and make some money. Uh, God knows. Play your fiddle. Listen, listen. This person's been practicing. So you, it does have an accompaniment. That piano is the application. You're just playing the violin. They're not very good. I mean, they're better than I would be. Well, let's go to another one then. Maybe oh, look here, maybe here we're going to. Uh, really this looks like to uh, Switzerland. We're going to. Let's see what he's Sfies? soloing. Alex is soloing. One Swiss. Yeah. Maybe Liechtenstein. He's resting right now. He's apparently not playing anything. He's at just all. breathing. All right. Let's go to the next one. Up oh, back to the U.S. We're on the Eastern Seaboard, and Rachel four five six zero is going to play a little something for us. A little something she calls Bach. Ave Maria. Isn't that pretty? No, that's, She's that's, not doing that's that. That's Smule. She's not doing that. <laughs> it's just like fourth grade all over again, says Quato in our chat room. It is. It really is. It is you like you almost want to go. Uh, 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 uh. When does Ave Maria kick in here, Fiddler? Any minute now. Listen. I like how it goes around. We've, got, we've kind of got this planetary thing going on. This is actually really pretty. Isn't that neat? I mean, yeah, it look. Is. You're. You gotta be. You gotta. 
It's, it, this is fun. Yeah, it is it's a great fun. application. It is two dollars and ninety nine cents. You can't um, get a, a real fiddle for two ninety nine. No, and uh, and you, you in theory, as you can see here, you could have multiple people playing at the same time. Smule also does the Glee app. We've talked about that before. Yes. If you're a singer, it was that karaoke episode that no one liked either. Of ours? Yeah, remember? I mean, no one liked it. We well, got email from people that said no one liked our show? I wouldn't show? say we're known for our karaoke skills, uh, necessarily. You want to sing along to uh, Ave no. Maria? Well, I do, but TNT Ave is next. Ave Maria. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, that's uh, that's the end that's of a, iPad today. <laughs> that's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. I'm, the, I'm getting the hell out of here. I want to quick remind, uh, quickly remind you guys that uh, we're asking for 4.2 apps that uh, that you think that we should highlight for next week, and also want your favorite cooking apps, holiday recipes, anything that you can get through your iPad, um, kitchen rigs, maybe you know, because Thanksgiving's coming up, and we want to be. Well, able do we to have a? We, we don't know our topic for next week, do we? Well, we're thinking cooking. I was thinking maybe like a gluttonous Thanksgiving. <laughs> let's eat. Let's eat kind of a thing. Turkey so, yeah. stuff in time. If you guys have um, thankful videos you'd like to send in, I mean, go Here nuts. Go. Go so nuts. our Thanksgiving episode is next week. I think that we just crowned our episode next week, Thanksgiving. Yep. yep. And by the way, uh, we are doing best of uh, shows for many of our Twitch shows. If you go to twitch.tv slash best of, mm -hmm. we're looking for your votes for bits, moments, shows, entire shows right. that you liked a lot. We'll cut them up. We'll make a best of because we're not going to be here the week after. Actually, you are. I will. You nutty girl. You're well, going to do a show. I like working. I'm not going to be here. Well, that's fine. But uh, you can you, you can be here. Yeah, we'll you take next. We'll hard. take uh, the web off, and then we'll you can the you off. can do you can do a show. Actually, you know, yeah, no, we're yeah, I'll be here. I'll, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, twit.tv <laughs> slash best of for the other shows. I guess Sarah will do like our Fiddle best. Fiddle Hero, of. for example, that's a best of. Fiddle Hero, that's not the name of it. Well, magic Fiddle. Well, okay. Fiddle Hero. Magic Fiddle. I kind of like that hero. name. I do too. That's what you should call it. It does look like Guitar Hero, doesn't it? Remember to subscribe to us at twit.tv slash IPT and never miss another show for that, for that, for now, for later, and for beyond. I'm Sarah. I'm Leo. Bye. We'll see you next time on iPad, iPad today. today. All right, let's play us out. This is a song just for you and me. Play Sarah. us out, fiddle cat. Just for you and me.